hey you, are you stalling on raising your prices, feeling icky or resistant around selling your offers, or maybe you're showing up and doing all the right things, but you're not quite hitting the income goals you deeply desire. I got you, boo. I was there too, overworking and under-earning, all in my head about whether or not people could afford to pay me or if I had a big enough audience until I went all in on the money mindset work that completely changed my life forever. I doubled my income two years in a row and hit six figures within 13 months of launching my coaching business. My first high ticket offers filled within a few weeks. I sliced my work hours in half and started taking regular four day weekends. I traveled the world to 18 countries doing work that had me jumping out of bed with excitement every day. I'm going to share with you the exact tools and processes that got me into a healthy and thriving relationship with the way I make money. Create Money the Fun Way is a 12 week money mindset group coaching program for multi-passionate creative entrepreneurs who are ready to create a six figure income in your soul work by choosing to heal your money mindset, stop settling for less or making choices out of fear and make the moves to make the money you want in your dream business now. Clients who have been through this work have made tens of thousands of dollars within a matter of weeks. Doors are officially open. Go to withsaramack.com forward slash create money. and welcome to Creative Magic Club. Together, we'll discover inspirational stories of creative entrepreneurs living out their dreams, doing the work they are most passionate about, and building wealth in magical and fun ways. While building a six-figure income as a writer and coach, helping other women to launch their dream businesses, I've connected with so many incredible people and seen it proven again and again that you can thrive financially doing whatever it is you are passionate about. I am here to share life-changing strategies for my mindset, making money, and reaching more people with your work in a business and life filled with creativity, freedom, and fun. Hi, welcome to the Creative Magic Club podcast, the place to become a six-figure creative through high-ticket sales driven by stories guided by the stars. I'm Sarah Mack, creative brand strategist and money mindset witch from withsarahmack.com, mentoring magical creatives like you to sell high ticket offers and build six figure brands through authentic storytelling and astrology guided strategy. Today, we're going to talk about how to overcome the fear of visibility in your business. This is part three of a three part series on money mindset and high ticket sales. So make sure you go back and listen to the first two episodes. They were so, so good and are going to make you so much freaking money when you implement So before we dive in, I want to let you know, I'm running a super cool free challenge right now. It's called your 30 day money play date. It's not too late to join. Click the link in the description or head over to my new Instagram account, Sarah Mac Magic, and you can come and do my daily six minute money mindset journaling prompt every day for 30 days. Expect to make more money. Expect to see an increase in cash flow when you consistently show up for this six minutes a day and then you take action on the insights that come up for you during that journaling. Trust me, this is magic. Plus, it's not too late to enter to win a spot in Create Money the Fun Way, my most epic life changing money mindset program that teaches you the work that doubled my income two years in a row, sliced my work hours in half and had me just having so much freaking fun and being so in love with my business, having fun, making money, filling my high ticket offers consistently and living my dream life pretty much. So (laughs) definitely come and join the party and check that out. You can win by commenting on all of my 30 reels and saving each of the 30 reels. As long as you do this by December 4th, I will pull the winner on December 5th, which is also, by the way, the launch date for my book. So exciting times. And for those of you who have been with me for a while, you may have already heard me tell the story about how it took me two years to publish my first website. And I'm not talking, it took me two years to get to the point where I was ready. 
No, no. I had like published my website, write my website copy, publish my website copy on my to-do list, like every single freaking day for two years. And I was completely oblivious to the fact that I was ignoring it. (laughs) I had not addressed it. It was not in the realm of my conscious thinking. I was every day, I was just fooling myself. I was like, yeah, today I'm going to work on my website copy. Sure, sure. Oh, okay. I'll just work on that tomorrow. Like I didn't even notice how much I was resisting it. I was working as a freelance copywriter at the time through fiverr.com, which is a freelance website. And they were taking 20% of my income from clients, which, you know, was worth it because they found me literally thousands of clients. And I basically launched my career as an entrepreneur on that platform. But I knew that if I could get off the platform and do my own marketing, I could not only raise my prices because I could be more targeted and who I was focused on helping and niche down, but I wouldn't have to pay them 20% of that increase. So, you know, that's eventually what happened. I launched my website. That was the first year I doubled my income from 24K to 50K um, once I launched my copy agency. And this is just the first example where I it really, you know, came to my understanding that we unconsciously resist becoming more visible because there's a part of us that just doesn't feel safe, right? especially around money, especially around our creativity, especially around things that we deeply, deeply care about, right? And that's what we step more into in our businesses is doing work that's meaning for us, meaningful for us, doing work for people that we care about. Once you step into entrepreneurship and you recognize I have total freedom to pick whatever I want to create offers on, whoever I want to serve, I can pick. So naturally, We are guided towards the things that we're most passionate about. And then it suddenly adds all of these extra layers of vulnerability, right? Because we're leading with our heart and we're following our intuition and we're we're taking a stand for our original ideas and our true deep soul mission. So we're taking a risk, right? We're taking a risk and putting ourselves out there of people being like, you're dumb. You're, this is never going to work. Like, let me grab the popcorn while I wait to watch you fail. (laughs) Right? Like all of these thoughts that we have in our head from recent experiences or past experiences of when we were rejected and it didn't feel good or when people were mean to us in the school playground. And we're ultimately trying to protect ourselves from attack from the imagined attack. And let's be honest, we're in November of 2024. It's a cruel world out there on the internet, especially for women, especially for marginalized identities. The reality is that there are trolls and they suck and we'll inevitably have to deal with some flavor of that at some point if we choose to put ourselves out there on the internet. And I was just talking today with my full moon circle with the Millionaire Witch Club crew about, you know, resistance around content. And I was reflecting because I did a reading for a client and she had some pretty challenging aspects when it came to sharing her voice, communication, content, social media. But as with all challenging aspects, there's so much potential and opportunity for massive growth, skill building and success, right? When we lean into that tension to learn and grow and to overcome the challenge and the resistance, we unlock huge amounts of skill and capacity and potential. And I was thinking about her and was thinking about, you know, the alternatives, right? I know a lot of people feel resistance around content. And I was like, what do businesses, what did businesses do back in the day before social media? And I remember my first foray into entrepreneurship. I actually joined a network marketing company. I lasted for about three months before I was like, this is not for me. And it was a coffee company with like outrageously expensive copy coffee. It was the hardest thing to sell. And I started by knocking on doors with my friend. I wrote my roommate into doing it with me. And I was like, we can do this to raise money for our blog. I started a blog on like women, creative women, empowerment, relationships, sexuality, things I was passionate about writing about with two of my friends. And we would take these little coffee packets and I would literally 
walk around the neighborhood in Montreal and knock on doors and try and sell it to people. And it was very unsuccessful. (laughs) But, you know, I was willing. I was doing my mindset work. I was like, what can I do? What is within my power? What do I know? You know, it's like, it's the old classic, just get in front of people. That's what we need when we need more clients, when we need more visibility. It's just about getting in front of people. And it kind of is a numbers game. Obviously, you can be very intentional and strategic and smart and streamlined. So you don't have to do a lot of the things that you don't love. But people used to just put on a suit and door knock or, you know, drive to a networking event and hand out a business card. And that's how people built businesses back in the day. So next time you're like, I don't want to post on social media. Just be happy that you didn't have to put on a suit, get in a car, go and knock on somebody's door, some stranger's door that you don't know and have to cold pitch yourself. Can you think of anything worse if that's what you had to do every single week? I mean, I I know some people, you know, that's their jam and they're good at that, but not for me. So grateful I can sit here in basically my pajamas and throw together some content, pour my heart out, click upload and post in 20 minutes. Didn't have to leave the house. Yes, please. Thank you. I can manage with that over the alternatives. (laughs) So are you a healer, witch, creative, or magical entrepreneur who's ready to fill your high ticket one-on-one or group coaching program? And you want a sales page that will do the selling for you. Maybe you're tired of having a calendar full of sales calls and you want a sales page that can clearly articulate your offer and guide interested clients to feel ready to buy without needing to talk to you first. Maybe you already have a sales page and people are clicking on it but not reaching out and you want to feel clear on what to say and what not to say to turn interested people into actual buyers. Having sales pages for my offers has led to filling a high ticket group coaching program with 10 clients at $1,000 each while traveling on vacation for two weeks and launching using repurposed content. Having five figure months from sales into my $5,000 evergreen mastermind with no live launching beyond daily social media content. Signing clients into my $17,000 private mentorship program with no sales calls. When you book my Cosmic Sales Intensive, you'll walk away with a full, clear, compelling sales page for your high ticket offer that will attract ready to buy clients and that you can continue to make sales with for years to come. Clients who have been through this offer have created a sales page that went on to sell out a high ticket relationship coaching mastermind, had 20 applications within 48 hours of publishing, sold several $15,000 private mentorship packages, and even had a six figure launch with the sales page and content strategy we created within just a few weeks. Stop losing people with fluffy language that sounds the same as so many others in your industry and clearly articulate why your work is worth five to $10,000 plus, even when you sell things like astrology, human design, breathwork, mindset coaching, or energy work. Book your cosmic sales intensive now at withsaramac.com or via the link in my description. You know, other instances where I feel like unconscious self-sabotage has happened for me. I lost one of my previous Instagram accounts. And when I say lost, I screwed it up. I was getting bored about the slow growth, the slow audience growth that I was having, having been in business for many, many years, still having a relatively small audience and was like, you know, that story that creeps in. If only I had a bigger audience, I would know I would be making more money, which obviously has some truth to it. It's not the whole truth. A friend of mine recommended an Instagram strategist. I bought his program and I didn't exactly did do what he said, but he recommended using a bot. So I signed up for the bot and he, he did say, don't follow or unfollow more than a hundred people a day. Otherwise you get flagged. And I decided to use the bot, not in a scammy way. I was like, oh, this is a helpful robot. I can unfollow everyone with the robot. So I don't have to do that manually. And that can just like clear up my feed. And I left the bot running. And it was obviously flagged by Instagram. And I think I had, I don't know, almost like 3,500 followers at that point, And I lost it. And that was at a moment where I was really getting some momentum. And obviously it was a mistake, but I don't know. I feel like we, we do these things. We unconsciously self-sabotage as soon as we start to risk getting a little bit more visible. Mega, mega procrastination on finishing my book. Like writing it, easy peasy. 
getting the first draft done, it just poured out of me. I outlined it. I wrote one chapter at a time. It was done in under a year. And editing it to get it actually published has been like pulling teeth. The resistance has been next level because it's a whole new layer of vulnerability of me really going in depth into my story. And I kind of was tricking myself or lying to myself. You know, I was like, well, I go deep in my content, on social media, in my trainings, I share my story. But the truth is, when you get that longer format, you go into so much more detail. People really get to know you. It's not just the highlights. It's not just the succinct sentences that pull out those key moments of transformation of your story or those keywords that show people kind of, you know, what you've been through, some the gist of it, the main things, right? That you summarize in a 200 or 2000 character caption. It is not the same as when you have hundreds of words in whole chapters of books to go into detail. And I really felt that in writing my book. And that was part of the joy of it too, knowing that I'll be able to build connection and pe- people will, you know, there's so many other aspects of my story that people will be able to learn from and see themselves in and use to reflect on their own, you know, differences and uniqueness. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling the next layer <laughs> of resistance to becoming more visible. So how do I deal with it? Th- knowing and acknowledging that this is always there. It's, it's just always there, right? And I'm sure it never goes away, no matter how visible you become. I'm sure it just turns into like a different flavor of fear of visibility. So I know that this is something that while I desire to be visible in my work, it's going to be something that I'm going to have to manage every single day. So having my daily ritual of mindset and energy management and action taking that continues to move me forward, that continues to shift me. And I go really in depth into the process that really shifted things for me inside Create Money the Fun Way, my 12 week money mindset program. But a big part of it of like the simple pillars that I keep in place are always having a lot of ongoing support. For example, this week, I had a super heavy period. I was really tired and I had a day which I had a lot of calls from coaches, memberships, containers that I'm a part of, the mastermind that I'm in. So I had a couple of different conversations with different coaches that I'm working with and it just saved my day. I got so many insights. I actually got some new pieces of copy written and uploaded onto my sales page. And it takes me so freaking long to do my sales page edits because I just, I I don't enjoy editing on directly on my sales page. So I'll resist it. And also I know they're good enough. Like my sales pages have already made me tens of thousands of dollars. So I know they're good enough. But I also just always am having that niggle of like, there's a next layer, you know, and I'm ready to get it, make them better and better and better so that my offers make me hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I know it's all about those small tweaks and keeping things in alignment as I grow and evolve. And as my clients grow and evolve and as the market grows and evolve, So I know that this is important and this is why I invest in these spaces because it makes those things that I have mega resistance around that every part of me is like, I don't want to do this or I don't have it in me to do this. Having that energetic support makes it fun. It makes it happen. It gets it done without the drama, with a lot less resistance. And, you know, in those moments where life is life and you're, you need support and you're not feeling like the queen of the world, you're badass, I can do anything self today. Like how many days do you have like that? Only a few. So what do we do on the rest of the days? We lean on support. So another thing that really supports me is having trackable projects. So breaking it down, scheduling it and following through. So having my to-do list on my planner and literally writing it down in order of priority and crossing it off. And if it doesn't get done, it gets moved over to next week's to-do list. And I feel like there's a couple of approaches that are helpful when we are in resistance to becoming more visible. One of them is to focus on the strategy and to shift the mindset. So if you know my vision for my business, for my strategy, for how I want to attract people, move them through my work, make an impact, share my message, 
this is my vision. It's very clear. It feels really far away. It feels like I'm not good enough. It feels like I don't have what it takes, blah, 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 blah. Stick to the desired strategy and go hard on the mindset work to align your belief in the possibility of what it is that you envision. So that's one strategy. The other strategy is to focus on the goal. Like ultimately, where do you want to get to? And obviously this is why I love working with income goals because audience numbers can be pretty irrelevant depending on your strategy, depending on your goals and your brand. Because yeah, obviously having an income goal represents a certain amount of impact. It also represents hopefully you know, the true desires in your life that are driving you in your business and that motivate you day to day. And also I like having the feeling goal too of like, how do I want to feel when I'm getting there? Because yeah, maybe I want to be posting three times a day on Instagram because I know that's going to massively scale my reach. I'm going to reach more people with my message and my impact will be bigger. But you don't have a team the size of Gary Vee's media company right now where you're at. So there's no point in trying to implement that strategy now when you're just a team of one or a team of two, because that's not going to feel good, right? So focus on how you want to feel on your path towards your vision, towards your goal, and then let your intuition lead you and follow the path of least resistance. Take it one step at a time, because you don't really know the way there. You can look at how other people are doing it. You can think you know what you want, but ultimately things are going to unfold for you in a very unique and individual way. That is going to be slightly different, even if it looks very similar to what you imagined or what you have seen before. So focus on the cash, focus on the clients, focus on what you feel really connected to that's meaningful for you and keep moving towards there as best you can each day. And then alongside taking the action, moving towards your clear goals, you have to do the deep emotional and energetic release work. But this is why I'm such a big believer in coaching, because when we move towards the goal and that new state of being that's required in order for us to become the person who reaches those goals, our-ish under the surface, it will rise to the surface to be dealt with. We don't have to sit there and like try and heal every wound and try and process every trauma and go looking for it. So I'm a big believer in stay focused on your goal, keep taking action towards your goal and whatever needs to be processed. If you need to do a past life regression and relive a memory of you being burnt at the stake as a witch, that's gonna happen. (laughs) I can't tell you how many times energy healers have come into my life and been like, we're gonna do a trade and you're gonna have an energy healing session and you know, I'm going to do something for them to help them in their business. And turns out that was exactly what I needed at that point. I just, you know, didn't really have the wherewithal to book it in, even though I do now know I consistently work with an energy healer. I'm consistently doing somatic release work. I work with a therapist on and off. I do breath work. I do EFT. So knowing those tools, those resources, those support people and modalities that are going to facilitate the shifting of the resistance and the emotional release work as you continue to stay focused on and move towards your goal. Something else that's very tangible and practical and helpful is to create safe spaces and to recognize that yes, we have to face our fears. Yes, we have to get uncomfortable, but it gets to feel good. Like it gets to feel fun and we get to do it within boundaries that feel safe and feel expansive and that we're excited to show up for. So whether that's Facebook groups or putting paywalls on your content for you to share your most vulnerable stories and topics of conversations, like do that. Listen to yourself, get creative and set yourself up to win. Let it be easy. Set yourself up for success by honoring your boundaries and making it feel safe for you to fully show up in your work. And remember that your content creation is for you and your self-evolution. It serves and it evolves you. So yes, it's going to be uncomfortable, but you are here on this planet Earth for the growth. You're not here to be stagnant. You're not here to just do one thing over and over for the rest of your life. You're here to grow and evolve right into your North Node of your chart, whatever that arc is for you, whatever those qualities are that you're stepping into embodying in this lifetime. So you might as well lean into it and make it as enjoyable as possible in whatever way that looks like for you today. 
and to allow that to evolve, right? So I'm sure there's many of you here who are like me and have Pluto and Scorpio. It's a generational placement. We're really here to claim power and influence through alchemy and transformation. We are the cycle breakers. And I also have my Saturn in the third house in Scorpio, which is why I'm the kind of person who will literally jump from therapy onto social media. I started a substack called Pluto and Scorpio. I'm not quite consistently publishing yet, but it's a really powerful outlet for me. And writing and expressing myself, it evolves me, it heals me. And obviously, this is just my dharma. This is what I'm here for, because this is the impact that I'm here to make. And that impulse, that need that I feel to express myself in these ways, and to publish and to be visible around what I'm going through. Like, I trust that my, you know, our desires are divine. And it's created so much, so much positive impact and abundance for me and for others in doing that. So trust your intuition. So next steps, how to apply this for yourself. What is your next level visibility goal? Like what's meaningful for you? What's really, truly driving you? Not some arbitrary vanity metric, but you know, what is your mission? What is the impact that you want to make? And what are some metrics that could measure you succeeding at that, that you can aim to focus on? And what do you think is stopping you from being there already? You know, just be honest. What are those stories that are coming up over and over again that are creating resistance? Or what are the actions that you're not following through on that you've maybe since, you know, listening to my stories started to ponder what those could be for you? And what's the path of least resistance way that feels fun and stretchy to take action towards it? Schedule it put support in place. You know, it's like you're getting your rocket ready to go on a big adventure, to catapult into the stratosphere. But like you want your cozy blanket and your comfortable cushions and some yummy snacks, you know, like you don't know where you're going to end up. You don't know what you're going to see, but make it fun in the ways that you know will make it slightly more comfortable for you. So I hope you've loved this episode and that it served you and that you're feeling more um, excited to go out there and to be visible and to share your amazing work with more people and to make a shit ton of money and to make a massive impact. So if you have loved this episode, please, please, please go onto iTunes and leave a review, subscribe and take a picture of that review. Email it to me at fun at withsaramack.com. And you will be entered to win a one-on-one coaching session with me. We can talk about anything you like. I can dive into your astrology chart. We can work on content. We can talk about your business strategy. And please share this episode with anybody who you know would love this and who would benefit from this. Please share your takeaways on Instagram and tag me at Creative Magic Club. And here's to you living wildly rich and creatively free. I'm sending you so much love. Bye. For more inspirational content, head over to my website withsarahmack.com and please support the show by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'm not a millionaire yet, but I know that I need to be to retire comfortably. Being a millionaire is no longer a pie in the sky ideal for a lucky few. It's a fact of life and necessity for us all. Along with knowing this, I also know I am unwilling to sacrifice my precious life working in any way that compromises my values of authenticity, freedom, health, happiness, connection, and impact. So I have a plan to become unshakably financially stable in the way that I want to get there. And I want us to build wealth, freedom, and impact together. I went from broke, burnt out, overwhelmed, overcommitted, and very money avoidant to doubling my income two years in a row. I'm making six figures in my dream business as a money mindset and brand strategy witch for creative entrepreneurs. And I've learned to save, keep, and grow my wealth in ways that feel fun, all thanks to the power of a deep and committed money mindset practice. I know that these practices will take me to any amount of money I desire to build in my life. The key part of it is the practice part. That's why I birthed Millionaire Witch Club. It's a place to come together on the full moon to reconnect with your money goals, stay focused and get clear on the next steps to get there without sacrificing your authenticity, health or happiness. We'll dive deep into your existing belief system in your relationship with money and examine, clean up and elevate the thought systems that are influencing the actions you take so you can create wildly different results. 
you'll leave feeling clear, confident, and supported to go make big moves, to make more, grow more, and love your life more as you impact others through your unique medicine and purpose here in this lifetime while you build your net worth to $1 million plus. Millionaire Witch Club will take place around the full moon each month, and it's free. Sign up at withsaramac.com or via the link in the description.